Amir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Ooh. Damn. Oh, there they are. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. <laughs> okay. The Aenar Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. But besides Hildes Vini and the elves, who else was part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Go! I mean, we don't really want Ragnarok to happen, right? So why are we like, yeah, I know it's not really great that the moon's gone, I guess, but like if that's what it takes to have Ragnarok be stopped. So that's it's like, yeah. Did you well, that? I didn't know they could do that. I mean, I guess. Uh, enemy. Stay alert. Yeah. Correct. Um. <laughs> don't predict what Kratos wants to say. Um. I mean, Fitting. I guess Ragnarok's supposed to just take down Asgard. That's what the thing says, so... Maybe, maybe it's alright that Ragnarok happens. There she is again! Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. This wall, when I bring it down, we strike. Yep. Uh, Empty. Where'd they all go? the moon uh box down there that's got to be it this is definitely an ambush 
Yes. a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Hmm? Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. <laughs> oh, down there. Okay. I thought. Another ambush? 
Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I and does that. You know, what we're doing right now? All of this? It's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Stolen Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. What is that? A wagon! Nasty beast! Just a wagon! Fucking leaf! From hell on. I'm almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. Just like inside their shrine.
If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodas Fini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs Ooh. to Helka. She's a blossom duck. Hounds Ooh. prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Vela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Hmm. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Beer, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now, we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildes Phoenix slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and This is mad pressure. And those guys that make everyone invincible, that's not okay. That's not a fun enemy. Shut it up! 
Need more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Haven't we? said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. 
If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Namir. What? The most annoying man alive. 